with a Hall of Famer, former Cub killer Barry Larkin. I'm Carl Ravitch right outside of Wrigley Field in the corners of Clark and Addison. And the spotlight highlight on Sunday, the Miami Marlins have been a thorn and will be, you get the sense, the rest of the season. Dealing with the Dodgers, good game, 4-3, ninth inning. And the Dodgers show some magic here. Andre Ethier will go to right and Giancarlo Stanton, who homered twice, misplaceable. Well, it looked like he got a little off kilter there. Good job I was going to come in behind him and, and getting the ball. But, you know, when Jose Fernandez is on the mound, you're going to try to do anything that you can, as a Danny Echeverria does right here, to try to help him out. Initially called safe, and right away you got the sense we have a review. We have a review, and Yasuo Puig, who slides into second, is eventually called out. The original call is overturned. So it is 4-4. Close play right there. You saw Yasiel Puig kind of slowing down in that slide. That worked well for Fernandez, who was cheering on Jeff Baker, who goes big fly to right. It goes off the wall. So does Puig, who lands in a heap. And, and Marlins win it. And that's the kind of effort that you appreciate from Yasiel Puig. You've seen him when he kind of hot dogs it out there, but you also see him put forth this kind of effort. That's why there is so much excitement about this kid, because when he puts his mind to it, Wow, he hit that wall pretty hard. He, hit it he hard. really goes after it. Ball hit him in the head. He hit the ground. Thankfully, you can see he was up, and he walked off under his own power, and the Dodgers are just kind of keeping an eye on Yasiel Puig. Again, he bangs into that wall real hard, and this goes back to the hole. Well, we have four outfielders. Do we need four? Seems like every day they need that fourth guy. The Miami Marlins get the win. No decision for Fernandez, but he was, again, lights out. Yeah, he had 10 strikeouts, two earned runs through uh, seven innings. This kid... Every time he goes out there, you figure you're going to have a highlight reel. Um, through his first 20 start, he has the lowest home ERA, 1.09, yeah. in the history of Major League Baseball, well, since they've been keeping the ERA. So every time this kid goes out there and pitches, it's an all-star. He's a, been rock solid. He has yet to lose at his home ballpark. A Sunday night spotlight, the Miami Marlins and the Dodgers. With Barry Larkin, I'm Carl Ravitch.